Creating online content for me is a delicate balance between creative fulfillment and self-expression and total chaos and destruction. <laughs> it's us trying to bring a sense of purpose and structure to the vast mess of social media and the internet. Whatever it is you create content for, maybe it's YouTube, Instagram, your website or someone else's website, Pinterest, your blog or someone else's blog, I know you can relate to me when I say the process is so messy Hello. that anything easing this chaos is highly appreciated. Well, good news for us because I found a tool that will allow us to do all the scripting, planning, outlining, scheduling, analyzing and track keeping in one space. It's made me as a content creator so much more efficient and in fact, this is the first time I can follow through with posting regularly across many different platforms and keeping up a high pace and frequency. If this is something you will benefit from in your life, either as a fellow online content creator or really any sort of creator of any sort of content, you will want to watch this. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. It's the same day for me but it's a different day for you and I want to continue the conversation we had going on about planning especially in Notion. My last video which I talked about how I organize my life in Notion I uploaded last week and this week it's all about as I promised finally how I create my content online. This is ideal for you if you are a YouTuber, a blogger, someone who has an online business, an entrepreneur, someone who works for someone else and needs a space to organize all their things. Really, Notion is just such an amazing tool and today I just wanna take you into a deep dive of how I use it for planning and how I just remain focused with what I wanna share and how I keep up a consistent productive flow of creating content and how Notion enables me to do so. So before we actually dive into my setup, I just want to tell you what Notion even is, just in case you have never heard of it, because I've been throwing that expression around a lot. So Notion is basically a all-in-one workspace where you can create different pages, you can create your different sorting system, and then within these pages you can create databases, tables, to-do lists, even calendars, boards, galleries, literally anything your little planning heart would desire um it's just a great tool so let's dive right into my setup or you can look at my massive vegan club sandwich <laughs> all right let's have a deep dive again and i hope to inspire you to manage your youtube channel your blog your website your social media accounts or your business with notion let's talk about my brand roadmap page i have redesigned this so so often until now and finally i found the perfect setup first of all statement what am i even about okay so combining productivity and mindfulness to great magic is just a quick reminder on my website it's a little bit different it's what do i do for people it's i guide you to recognize and embrace your truth through conscious intention and essential self-creation i have a brand identity and keywords so basically just like um staples no core values um, which are the three main ones as conscious intentional and essential which are my mis mission mission statement as well i really encourage you to have something like that where you can really look at it and at one glance know what are you about what is your niche how do you help people okay so i also have this little expanding thing here where you can actually see what it means so conscious you know awareness manifestation joy spirituality intent blah 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 you can do this for every single one and i can uh, just remind myself what is it that i'm doing online okay now this one let's actually dive right into this because i don't see this every day but this is basically all that i just said in a little bit more detail Okay, so in last content proposition, what is my content? My brand vision. The mission statement I said already, um, that's on the first page, but here is a breakdown. My laptop is just getting really loud for some reason. I hope that you don't hear this now. But, <laughs> okay, so here is a huge breakdown on what does it actually mean? Because you know, sometimes you read it and you're like, yeah, but like, what does it concretely mean? So basically I break it down. Sometimes you get lost in content creation or in business or in anything, have a place to come back to and know this is what you do. Okay, other things here, platforms, formats. What are the things, like what are the platforms I use? I don't need this very often, this is why it's sort of hidden. Content topics. 
as you might or might not know, I have usually four different, I mean, everyone has four different weeks, but I schedule my content based on the phase of the moon we're in, basically phase, uh, based of the energy that is present at the moment. So in the first week, I have um, a life event on my website. I usually have my Instagram TV related to that. And then this is the topic I want to talk about in that first week. In that second week, I talk about productivity, tips, blah, blah. The reason I have that and why it is an expansion to what I have on the previous page is because I'm all about balancing everything basically. So balancing productivity with mindfulness, efficiency with rest, emotional with mental health, all these kind of things. So I want to make sure I cover actually all these topics at least once a month. So this is what I um, have here. And this is also just for inspiration. If I just sometimes need a reminder, what is the event I want to create? So now you might think this is very, you know, in depth, but let me tell you, this is actually super important to have something like that. If you try to, for example, batch create your content, if you try to, you know, create multiple things at a time, if you try to schedule what is going to happen within the next week, because this just helps you quickly come up with ideas while maintaining a structure. All right. I just have a brainstorm thingy here because sometimes I have to note down things that I just have in my mind. That's just here. Uh, we did a book club already. Um, I have to dive deeper into this again. And then I'm thinking about challenges on my website. So I just have a brainstorm there real quick. Things that just need my immediate attention soon. <laughs> um, now, the platform intentions and practical content design. This is to ensure that your content, whatever you produce, if it's a blog post, if it's a video, if it's something on Instagram actually fits um, your intention for that platform. Okay. So I said before Facebook and Pinterest, I mainly use this for marketing um, purpose. So what I do is I drive people to my website and YouTube. I want to remember that for Instagram. I want to generate leads to my website and I want to basically build a following there and also direct to YouTube. YouTube, I want to build a following website. I want to create close relation customers. Now, knowing this, I go here and I look at, okay, I built my following on YouTube. So what is my main intention for this platform? I want to be helpful. I want to be likable. I want to be authentic and I want to be unique. Now, how can I do this? All these steps. You get the point? Same as for how do I create customers and how do I create leads? Okay. Let's skip this. This is usually closed. It opens every time. I have no idea. This is just the last two little things on this page. My business strategy, the path of self creation on my website and my brand keywords and direction. This is when I'm totally lost. <laughs> no, just kidding. This is just what I sometimes like to review business strategy. Let's quickly talk about this. I just needed this to set up my website in a clear way. What am I trying to say on my website? What, what's the system? What might be my products one day? I have it all in here. Um, the brand keywords and direction is just all the things I'm trying to balance. Right, let's hop back to brand roadmap and go to this beauty, which has been amazing for me. Okay, here you can see what is happening content wise. This is basically how I schedule my thingy. So I have the moons in here because I said before I schedule my content according to them. Full moon, last quarter, new moon, first quarter. We are currently here. This is Saturday. I missed yesterday's YouTube video, which is great, but this is what we're actually filming right now. I have a template which I can show you. So if I was to create a new YouTube video, it's already in. Let me give you a blank version here. Different content, different presets or templates I have created and you can create by putting a new template. It's basically saves you a lot of time. If you want to script the video, click video. Here we are. You put in the title things I want to have an idea about when I do a YouTube video, basically, you know, desired outcome, my tone and approach, um, my desired audience fears and my research. I don't really pay attention to this. This is just why it's like I have an idea about roughly. And then here, these things to make sure the video has potential to perform well. And then I script and I voice over. I have done this, for example, for this video here, this is a script and this is another script technically voiceover because this is obviously a different style of video, but this is what I do. I also have what shots do I want to take? 
full headshot, full phase on shot, which I have in this video, filming while in notion, which is uh, basically happening right now, and then a cinematic B-roll sort of break to make it interesting. And then I have my script and I can schedule it and here I have a list of B-roll. Very helpful. Um, Instagram preview is basically my YouTube video as an Instagram preview. So this is just me knowing this is when it has to go up. Normal Instagram video. Becoming conscious is a new series I do on my Instagram. So I script that in here. Um, new moon. As I said, it's a live stream event. I would go here and set it up there if I wanted to in just a quick note version. I have a detailed one for this one. There is my new moon and my full moon reminder because I send out new moon and full moon mails. So here, this is all the stuff I wanna do. And heads up, I am trying to drum roll, do two videos a week. I have no idea if this is gonna work because I'm already overwhelmed, but I felt that my productivity system has saved me so much time that maybe it is finally time to step up the YouTube game. But let's see how we go. Uh, not sure. We have challenges here. And the good thing is I know which content I create for my website, which I do for my YouTube, which I do for my Instagram. You can filter all of them and it's just an awesome overview. Now, difference between this one and my task list here. This one tells me when things are due, when they have to be done, finished, uploaded, ready to go. The task list is for this to happen, what do I have to do during the week? And this is the most helpful thing because this way I just ha like I come back from work or I wake up in the morning and I know this and this has to be done and it's increased my productivity 8 million times people I swear to god so I've been very thankful to have implemented this let me walk you through what I do on a Monday on a Monday I film my conscious um becoming conscious IGTV video because if you look here it's due on a Wednesday I just like to leave a little bit of room because usually I finish editing it on Tuesday. I schedule posts on Instagram for both my account saleliness and conscious cycle. On a Tuesday, I um, schedule posts for website and Facebook. So I repurpose the content of last week, videos, blog posts, and I post them to my website and my Facebook, make sure that keeps updated. And I also post it on Pinterest, so I do the content pinning. And then, um, after so that's all out of the way, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I want to focus on video editing. Hopefully by Friday, the video is done so I can do the IGTV preview as well. Then I have things I have to do once a month. That is the new moon event and the email. That is the full moon live stream sometimes or the email or both. I do challenges within my website. I have to do these once a month. I create a moon template so we can have a moon calendar as a screensaver. I do this once a month. And then I also have analytics, which we'll come to in a second. What I want to show you here real quick is that the great part of this is I usually have this on. I just have this off for demonstration purpose at the moment, but we go to filter, we add a filter and we just make sure that all the things that are done don't show up. So where, what, what the filter does is when done is checked, unchecked, the things are still here. So basically now I can see all the things I haven't done yet. Monday, Tuesday, I've done everything. YouTube, I'm just currently doing so um, exactly that is what's happening here. I, by the way, have the same for my life. If you have not watched this video, I have the same thing over here where I know what to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, which is really long and uh, once on a monthly basis. So make sure you watch this video as well if you're interested in organizing your life with Notion. Now, okay, <clears throat> I'm trying to rush a little bit, but I'm just trying to make it not too very long. Let's look into the analytics. That's a pretty basic setup. I have the accounts I have, I have the numbers, I have my strategy of improving these numbers and let's look at how it works or how it doesn't. Uh, we went very down, we went way up. Um, this is just for me for an overview and I started just at the end of my and my May and I just started being really consistent in what I do end of June. So you don't see much interesting stuff here at the moment. Next thing, Pinterest, Facebook, and YouTube optimization. That's for content creation. So I have pages, all the important things 
I need to know about Pinterest content and same with Facebook and YouTube, same thing. Just basically the things I want to keep in mind when I create content for these platforms. This is basically a video idea list, very, very simple. Things I want to film in the future, I can have a status on them, pending, scripted, filmed, cut, animations, final cut, thumbnail, scheduled and published. Whew. Once I'm publishing, I can click done. It's vanishing from the list. View all. I can show you the view completed, for example, and there's a couple of things I have already published. As you can see, it's not complete list, but um, view all back to our normal list of YouTube video ideas. And you can obviously use this for any type of content. Live stream ideas list, similar thing. And this is what I wanted to show you how I plan my live streams and my events that is happening in here. That's actually happening tomorrow. So I plan that this morning um, I have a theme, I have a ritual, I have a reflection, I have systems I want to talk to you about, and then the things I want you to be able to take away, a meditation and a moon phase graphic this time. So I plan it in here. Great thing now, look at this. Because this is a page, we can grab this one. And technically, <gasps> look at this, add it to the calendar. There we go, it's in the calendar. If we open it, it's the same thing. So that's just absolutely amazing and just shows you a glimpse of how versatile this is. Now, Instagram content is not much happening at the moment. Basically, um, sometimes I have ideas to what I want to talk about in my Instagram posts, but I don't have anywhere to put it. So I put it in here and then once I have a picture I want to post, I choose one of these. I also, this also helps me to actually create valuable stuff on Instagram because I want to provide you solutions to your problems. That is all that content is about. Like why would you read any of my stuff if it doesn't help you in any sort of way or inspire you? So either I'm giving you a solution to a spiritual problem, to a productivity solution, or um, I just share a life experience for some relatability. So that's what I would put in here. Now, <laughs> running to-do list on social media, self-explanatory, all the things, quick, things I want to do and one day I want to add all these things. Yeah, long way to go. Cool. Formats, goals. Two simple things. This is just me having an overview of what I want to do in my content. For the milestones, I had a target which is July the 6th which did not happen obviously. So um, let's just try next month. I don't really take this too serious but the point is you can set yourself targets. You can track your process and percentage. You can really you just can anything roadmap i would link my strategy in here there's obviously nothing there yet same with the status and then another milestone would be if one of my videos would go viral so um, there's no progress because it just either happens or it doesn't happen so there's not much to say and there's also no target because this is just like a situation of luck but i just hope it happens one day and i can share what i do with more people okay let's all breathe a second we have been talking for a long time. Mm. I have been talking for a long time. You have to listen to me for a long time. But um, we're almost done. I just wanted to show you um, another part of content creation, which basically replaces notes for me. So this page, if you watched the other video, you already know this page because I've talked about all these things over here. It's recollection schedules and lists, basically, uh, note app on steroids <laughs> and I wanted to take the content creation um, section of this and add it to this video because it just seems like it fits. All right, let's go to text templates. <clears throat> Sometimes I uh, do things, for example, apply for jobs or uh, that's basically all it is. So I have templates here if I want to apply um, to be someone else's freelance video editor. Um, just These are just things you want to get right. And once you got that right, I just want to keep them. So same for an air task a bit. If I think someone's air task, so air task is a freelance app, someone's 
offer would suit me. I have compiled my experience and everything and why it would I would fit that role, for example. Obviously, I don't just copy paste, I adapt. And please, if you do something like that, please just adapt the name. <laughs> I have done that too many times to just say, hey, Natalie, but her name was Lisa and obviously I've already lost at that point. But we learn from our mistakes, don't we? Tutoring, same thing. Um, I was looking for a tutoring job at one point. Just things where you have to keep track of what you're doing, like CV sort of stuff. I just like to have like a text template. Um, right. Back to here, camera settings. Yes, it's very self-explanatory. Video settings for my PowerShot. Video settings for my PowerShot cinematic. Video settings for my DSLR. Video settings for my new camera, um, Sony Alpha. Just to have a place to come back to for these things. Then I compose content. I forgot what this is. Oh, this is a list of tools, of websites, resources. If I want to have captions and text, uh, mess letters would help me with this. This is like the page where you can have symbols and stuff. Yeah, just a couple of resources really. <clears throat> then we have editing resources, same thing for editing. I have pictures to use on Unsplash, footage and animations on Panzoid. Um, I rarely use this to be honest. I should maybe use this, but it's just something to know, you know, instead of splashing it on some certain note pages and never finding it again, I can find it again here. I created daisies on my website, which is um, your daily moon, basically. And basically a horoscope, but for the moon face and for a certain day, especially for you. So um, this is just a template in case it ever gets lost. I don't know why it would because it's all over my website, but just in case. Um, um, two more things to go. Conscious cycle. I actually forgot what the, what this is. Vision. Oh, oh, okay. No, I understand. <laughs> this is my setup for my conscious cycle Instagram page. I have um, a statement, content I want to post. This is a description I used to have and still sort of have. Um, and other things that help me, for example, storytelling and hashtags just for that one Instagram conscious cycle page. Last thing, um, great for everyone working with uh, lots of content and footage. I have a footage tag system. So if you're actually going to my finder, oh, I actually don't know if you can see this right now. Oh, you can. I have it here. I tag my videos with food, talking, people, fun, animals, nature, travel, productivity, work, aesthetic, spirituality, home and chores. So technically I can go here and then all the content that I do chores in or I have filmed about chores would show up. I just don't have my hard drive connector at the moment. That's what it is. Um, and this is all my Notion setup for content. And we are done. And if you're still here, that is impressive. <laughs> Whew, that was a lot. If you're hooked, if you want to use Notion for more than just your business now, start organizing your whole life and you're looking for more inspiration, make sure that you head to the last two videos I made. One was about like why and how you should you even do digital planning and the other one was a breakthrough, breakthrough breakdown, similar like this one, just um, about life organization. If you've watched these already and you're just generally looking for more inspiration on productive and mindful lifestyle feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like this video because there's lots of more stuff like that to come also i have a website on www.selenelinas.com where you can find um, information on the path of self-creation and mindful living and conscious living and essentialism and all that kind of juicy stuff that just helps us take our power back live more intentionally and yeah if you're in that, into that kind of stuff make sure you check that out um, and yeah I'd love to see you next time um, sending you all the love bye bye